I uh, heard about a challenge on a wood project and I thought I'd uh, follow through on one of my wood projects. Um, challenge was to do something that stretched your abilities and this project I'm working on now, it's a coffee table. I had mentioned to my wife and a couple friends that uh, I was working well above my pay grade on what I was doing. So I thought I would just, uh, I'm about maybe halfway, a little more, but I thought I would just go through what I'm doing. Um, there was a couple projects I did that inspired this one that got me to where I'm at here. Uh, first was a coffee table out of maple from some street trees. Uh, and that coffee table had some uh, through joints, through uh, mortises on the tabletop. Um, I turned the legs on that one and I hadn't turned something in years. And that was a bit of a challenge. And some through tenons on the legs and some pinning. It, I thought it turned out really nice. I was really pleased with it. And then I went to and did a oak top uh, coffee table. I didn't think I'd do another one. I did another one with the through tenons on the legs, turn the legs, and it was uh, some maple on the legs and then a oak top to cut an oval out. And I was really pleased with that table too, and I thought that was done. But I built a couple end tables. Uh, and all these are the end tables. I just made a rough sketch. I wanted to have some curved pieces um, And that presented a challenge with some straight tenons on a curved piece the legs were tapered and then it was some end cuts from some logs that I had uh, epoxied together so that led me to this table the legs and the arms are um, sycamore so they have a really cool grain this is the not the top but the lower shelf is uh, white maple came from a, a tree in a friend's yard fell and I got some wood from him uh, in the corner of the shop you can see there's a large piece from that tree also that I gotten and then the top though for this is this piece right here it's two pieces put together uh, with a couple soft curves and some uh, live edge you'll see more of that uh, dowels that I made those are oak uh, just shy of three quarters and I made all those on the router table all right
So I uh, got the, the bow ties in and I wanted them out of the same tree um, as this. I, I didn't want them to, I wanted them to be there, but not to be really, really noticeable. Time to cut some bow ties. All right, this is the back side. Just put a few in to stabilize these cracks. See if I can hold them together. All right, this is a sort of an upside down view. And what I'm trying to figure out here is how to cut holes for the legs to go through. Keep them lined up in the same so I'm contemplating that, but I got all the um, bow ties done.
Okay. Okay. Four or back. Two. Let's do this. Three. This is three and four. Do you want to get up on the table? Yeah. Oh, baby, this looks good. The question is now, how am I going to drill these out? This is going to be tricky. No, no, it has to be the other way. This way? Yeah. Okay. I uh, haven't been doing it that way, so sorry. Which way? I've been doing it this way. Oh, no. Up until now. You idiot. Well, you didn't tell me. I'll change it. I can edit. You weren't filming at me calling you an idiot, were you? Yeah, I've been filming <laughs> this whole conversation. Yeah, that's not going to go well. I'm going to send it to my mom. <laughs> I'm not worried about injuring somebody. Okay, now. This is going strong enough. Okay, ready to drill.
Yeah, I like that. I wasn't sure about that. That's pretty good. A little further, but good enough for now. I'll get a better bit. And then this one. That's according to plan. I think I need to drill these all deeper so they're really in there. Yeah. All right, give a thumbs up. That's better. What was the other one I wanted to do? I should do all of these, so. <coughs> This is really hard on the back side of that. I'm gonna come back with it.
man. It's going to work out. Is it bubbling still, or is it stop bubbling? No, it's still... This bubbling is scary because it sometimes means that you got a hole somewhere in the bottom. Yeah, I taped it, it up. It keeps on bubbling. No, I taped it up really good. That is an impossibility. Imp don't say that. <laughs> it epoxies itself to my workbench, never to be removed. What are you doing? <laughs> I need a rag. Need a rag? Hang on, let me get your rag. I gotta make sure you're seeing this. Because it's leaking. Come on. Dang it. Is some... Now, is it gonna stick though? Yeah, it does stick okay. Just really press it. You gotta get all the way to uh, fresh wood on either side, so you might have to do a couple of different steps. Yes. Yeah. Just trying to help. Hope that mixes well. Dropping down long ways. Yeah, it's deep. It's like that. Look, look, look. Like the Mariana Trench. <laughs> well, that filled and it's not leaking.
I just got to figure out um, flush or more of a button. We'll see. So the top now, it's it's uh, you know floating. It's got the dowels in there, but it this is all. Each one is offset, and they're pretty even. That one's pretty cool. So uh, a little bit of sanding, work on those ends of the dowels and then apply some finish. Yep, should have done this. Too. 